Hey, what's up, Tigo here, and today I'm gonna give you guys a quick demo of Raider Z running on Mac here. So, uh, kind of give you, uh, show you guys how well or how bad it performs uh, on a Mac. So, I, I am running this on a virtual machine uh, through Parallels Desktop. And uh, if you do not know what Raider Z is yet, it's uh, the latest MMORPG uh, from Perfect World that is currently in closed beta, uh, but will soon be released. I think in less than a month. Uh, it will be fully released and free to play as well so if you guys want to check it out it's totally free uh, so I highly recommend you do so uh, but I want to quickly guys uh, quickly show you guys how it runs and uh, tell you guys what settings I'm using and uh, what kind of frame rate I'm getting and stuff like that so um, let's go ahead and uh, do that here I'm gonna quickly first off start off with the settings of my virtual machine so again I'm running this through parallels uh, desktop and the settings I have set here of course I'm running Windows 7 so 64 bits ultimate edition uh, I gave it four CPUs four gigs of RAM and video wise I gave it half a gig of RAM uh, which is not that much and I've enabled 3d acceleration and vertical synchronization which I recommend you do as well and this is running on the um, AMD 6970 graphics card one gig of RAM and it's the mobile version of the graphic uh, graphics card so it doesn't run as well as the uh, full version of course now going to the actual settings of the game not the virtual machine the video settings here I have set uh, everything rather uh, low simply because I prefer having higher frame rate and not as good of graphics but some people might disagree on that uh, I don't really mind the graphics and MMORPGs uh, that much if they're not too good as long as the gameplay is rather good um, but uh, I've untaken most of these settings now these uh, settings on the left don't affect your frame rate that much uh, they can sometimes particle effect especially if you're having big uh, boss fights with a lot of players that might definitely uh, affect your uh, frame rate but not by that much uh, sometimes it drops to about 40 frames per second when I, uh, when I enable this uh, when I'm actually with this uh, option disabled I usually have about 50 frames per second so uh, that's pretty good uh, on the right side these uh, options do affect your frame rate a bit more uh, texture resolution I like to keep it low um, it doesn't really affect your frame rate uh, that much this option right here uh, I like to keep it on low simply because uh, in my opinion it's better for your hard drive it uh, doesn't need to load as much textures on your RAM pretty much so I've set that to low light source effect quality uh, you can put that on it lowers your frame rate slightly uh, then you have the rendering distance which I've put to normal uh, playing it on smallest or narrow is quite annoying so I recommend at least normal or wide um, and then the shadow quality I've put that off simply because I'm not a huge fan of that uh, option um, it doesn't the shadows don't look that bad uh, on cer in certain areas but in other areas it makes the area very very dark and uh, annoying to play with as you can see this tree uh, the shadows are pretty big and this is not the perfect example to show you guys why I don't exactly like uh, this option but uh, there's certain areas where it can be really uh, quite bothering these big shadows because they make the area much darker than it really is so I've decided to left that off I'm not sure if they'll ever change the shadows but I don't think they're great in this game uh, if you put them on the highest it highly affects your uh, frame rate it actually uh, usually uh, as I said already I have about 50 frames per second if I put it on the highest I it can drop to up to 25 frames per second so pretty much 50% of, uh, of the frames then the other options here are, are other things such as the video recording option which is a feature that's built right into the game which is pretty handy and the minimum performance that's if you really want to run in uh, run it with the lowest uh, specifications possible so and I will put all the uh, lowest settings so that's pretty much for the settings in the game uh, at the moment as uh, with the settings that I showed you guys I'm getting around 50 frames per second now it can drop up to 35 uh, when you're with in areas with a lot of people fighting big bosses or a lot of monsters at the same time uh, it definitely can affect the uh, the frame rate and uh, but I've, I've been playing it quite a bit the, the last few days and I have to admit that uh, it runs fairly well uh, otherwise I wouldn't be playing it if it wouldn't run uh, well but that monster apparently is not killable 
So uh, I'm just gonna kill this wolf. Um, but that's uh, pretty much uh, the demo that I want to show you guys. What I've noticed as well, uh, I'll mention that right away, if you're playing as a, a mage character, or at least I think it's called a, a cleric, or no, it's not called a cleric because those are healers, but uh, the wizard or mage or whatever class, however it's called, um, you get actually not as good as the frame rate on higher levels because on higher levels you actually unlock certain spells that emit a lot of particles and stuff and that can definitely lower your frame rate a lot so uh, it's not as big of a deal if somebody next to you is uh, a mage it doesn't affect it as much but when you're it yourself it does affect the, the frame rate a bit so uh, that's a little heads up there uh, but it's not a huge difference it's just maybe five frames per second or something so it's not a huge, huge difference, but uh, yeah, that's, pr that's it pretty much for my demo of uh, Raider Z on Mac. Uh, you guys can check it out. I'll leave a link to the website in the description if you guys want to play it. Uh, it will be a free-to-play game really soon. Uh, right now it's uh, just in closed beta, so uh, if you have a beta key, you can play it. Otherwise, just wait a few weeks and it should be available for everybody. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, just comment down below and uh, I'll try to answer them. Now thank you a lot for watching. Peace.